gets to Marcus Ware. Troy circles, second and three. Pass complete, Shockey first down. Tell you a nice way to start a series here for the New York Giants and Eli Manning. He came down to Tiki Barber on the one easy throw. Tiki Barber's running the ball well right now and then move the pocket a little bit, allow Eli Manning to get outside and get some clean looks at where he's throwing the football. He's able to put it on Jeremy Shockey. If you think back last week in pregame warmups, Jeremy Shockey has a compound dislocation of his ring finger. They stitched it up. He came out, had a good game last week. But they mark him down. And even though he's Manning under pressure runs away from Brady James and has Shockey wide open touchdown New York <laughs> Eli Manning he's starting to look like Fran Tarkenton wearing that number 10 back there I mean geez he's making people miss he's picking up key yardage you're gonna see he's got a free blitzer right in his face Brady James and he's able to sidestep him move to his left we talk all the time about getting Jeremy Shockey involved in the game early well they've done it here today Vanderjet goes with Martin Gramatica he misses a 44 yarder and the Giants come back down the field Eli Manning leads the drive you know sometimes Troy Jeremy Shockey talks too much he did after the Seattle game when he said the Giants were out coached but there aren't many tougher in this league that love to play football than Jeremy Shockey prior to those two games third down and eight Manning out of the shotgun hits Shockey wide open first down and then Shockey makes his best move on the sideline to the defensive left side to work against McKenzie and Jeremy Shockey good move there on Roy Williams and you know at Friday's practice Jeremy Shockey caught just about every ball that was thrown now in practice you always design the cards and so you throw it to the guy you want to throw it to but I thought coming out of that practice well, I don't think there's any doubt we talked about this guy before Troy he gets this offense going and if there's anybody whose hands you want to get it in early to give this offense some life it's shocking well and in addition to that a couple of weeks ago he said if we play the kind of football that we're capable of playing the Dallas Cowboys or anyone else cannot beat us and I think that's the right thing to say every player should feel that way however Bill Parcells tried to use that during the week for motivation Jeremy Shockey doing a lot of the talking he made that last play third down and five and Sonoris Moss making a move and making it two against the Philadelphia Eagles he had the quad injury he doesn't know all of the offense because he's had so little time to work but this is the explosiveness that they hoped he'd be able to provide when they drafted him Jeremy Shockey out there blocking on when he turns it on he's one of the best on first down Eli Manning fires and the pass incomplete Roy Williams coming over to make a play on Shockey no flag and I think I'm gonna have to agree with Shockey on this one it looked like Roy Williams got there before the ball did and you're gonna see it for yourself Jeremy Shockey running a corner route and in comes Roy Williams with the contact made prior to the ball arriving crowd sees the replay they don't like it it was awfully close either way Shockey wanted the flag didn't get it it's second down and ten I'll tell you one thing about it though the Giants have shown second down and eight now for the Giants someone's speaking in tenor Manning with time fires to a wide open Shockey and he's got a first down at the Dallas 30 we heard about the broke in the turf and here's Jeremy Shockey and I, you know we say it all the time this team feeds off this guy's emotion he's his, en his energy he's a tough guy he rallies the team and that's what he's doing tonight Manning out of the shotgun toward the sideline with Shockey what a game Jeremy Shockey is putting together and what I like Joe I mean just the emotion that he shows you know they say that Eli Manning doesn't show enough well Jeremy Shockey certainly makes up for it the Cowboys bring the blitz here and the offensive line does a pretty good job there of picking it up off the edge Al Singleton gets there late 
But Eli Manning recognizes it, gets the ball out to Shockey in the flat, and there's no way Shockey's down, but they definitely want points. They can't have a Manning mistake. And that one is broken up by Henry. Jeremy Shockey, the intended receiver, and Anthony Henry came in, made the play. It's fourth down. Yeah, Anthony Henry made a good play, but watch when, when Jeremy Shockey comes off where the ball's thrown. If it's thrown on his, on his right hip, on this side here, he's got a chance because then the ball's shading away from where Anthony Henry had leverage. But the ball got away from... Try. Good snap. Good hold. Martin Gramatica has put Dallas on top. Swift kick. Let the laterals begin. Gordon laterals to Brandon Jacobs. Jacobs is out of bounds, and this game belongs to the Cowboys. The Dallas Cowboys improve to 8-4 and four and have a commanding lead in the NFC East. They split the season series with the New York Giants and the two young quarterbacks.